Microsoft Teams has an integrated phone system where in addition to the messaging features that Teams offers, you can actually just pick up the phone and call one of your teammates, one of your coworkers, either by using your computer or by using the Teams app on your phone. And this is very important because for those folks that have a Microsoft audio conferencing and data dialing package, there's a license involved and all that, um, you can actually assign your associates actual phone numbers or you can route through their uh, voice over IP numbers to their Teams application. And we'll show you how to do that later. But the first thing that I wanna show you is how easy it is to call someone in Teams. So I'm gonna share my screen right now. So this is my Teams application and I have a couple of options here. Now this is a team that we've set up specifically for this demonstration. If I go to the left on my screen where this call tab is and click that, I actually get a list of all the folks that I've interacted with recently. Some folks that I have been chatting with um, and Christine who I talked to most recently is right at the top of my list and I had added her to my speed dial. So just like this, I'm gonna give her a call. And we'll see if she's there. Hello? Hey, Christine, how's it going? Hey, Joey, how's it going? Ah, no complaints for a uh, Thursday. <laughs> I'm losing track yeah. of what day of the week it is. <laughs> um, I'm just giving a demonstration of Microsoft Teams for everybody. So I'll probably be bothering you like 10 more times. So you can hang out by your no computer worries. if you would. All right, sounds good. All right, thanks. Yeah. And it's as simple as that. Now, Microsoft asks you to rate the call quality for those things because as they are rolling out Teams to more and more companies, they're trying to improve the performance of it. And you will see that over time, as your associates report in that call quality, things are actually gonna get better and the, the call quality is going to improve. Now, from the call tab, that is one place where you could certainly um, call everyone. Another place you could do that is from the chat window here. So if I'm chatting with somebody about anything, you'll see on the top right hand screen, I have a couple of options. One being a video call, which you can transition into from an audio call. And one is the audio call. So let's call Christine again. Hello again. Hello again. I'm gonna show everybody how easy it is to add somebody else to the call. So let's see if Steve is at his desk. Now, it looks like he might be busy, but let's see if he answers. Oh, it looks like he's busy. All right, well, let's try somebody else. Well, had Steve been available, we would have been able to have a conference call, and it was as simple as that. And I actually did and we hung up on everybody. But uh, so that's as, as simple as that is. And that can also be done from your phone. And one of the really cool things about Teams is that when you do something like that, well, now Steve's calling back. So let's answer the call, shall we? Hey, sir, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. We were just testing the audio conferencing things in Teams for our presentation. So hang on just a second. I want to invite Christine back in so everybody can see how easy this is to do. Let's see if Christine picks up. Hey, God. Hey, everybody. Can you all hear each other? Yeah. All right. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Christine, bring you on. Angry woman. <laughs> Thanks. I would have been expecting that for a couple more hours when I got home. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll be bothering you again soon, I'm sure. <laughs> so it's, just, it's as simple as that. Uh, we use it pretty extensively here at Greybok, which is, uh, it's a lot of fun and, and sometimes um, a lot in general. Um, but that said, one of the things that you can do because this is a phone system is you can actually change your status up here. So not only can I pick from the standard statuses, available, busy, do not disturb, I'll be right back. I can actually appear as though I'm offline and still see notifications. I can also set a custom status message that mentions somebody else. So if I say this, I'm busy. If you need something, call Steve. And people can then click his name on my status and get right to him. I can actually even see when I get the message, I can clear it off after a couple of days or I can leave it on forever, but I will stay available. 
as I was mentioning before, one of the things that's neat about Teams is that when you make phone calls, when you look at files, when you have chats, all of those things get stored in a log. So I can right here go to my call history and see everybody that I talk to incoming and outgoing and very easily just call them right back or start a chat right from here. So I can bring up this chat window and continue the conversation online or offline. This can happen while you're on the phone. This can happen um, while you're off the phone. You can do this from your mobile device or you can do this from your desktop. So those are some of the basics of the phone system.